Today's video feature is how to get through the process of separation. This is a very emotional time, a very chaotic time. I know I've been through it twice and I've had countless friends and clients that I've observed go through and I've developed some ideas that I think will help you if you watch this video. First, we'll go through some behaviors that I think are very helpful. In fact, will help speed up the process of healing and recovery. And then I'll also go through some tried and true things that you should avoid at all costs. The good news is you can't avoid them. It is simply a matter of choice and free will. The bad news is you're not going to get through this without making mistakes. Everyone does. So don't beat yourself up when you do and realize that every day is a brand new day and a fresh opportunity to stay on course to recovery and healing. Now, what should you do? Well, in my respectful opinion, you need to focus on the important things in life. First, if you have children, you need to focus on them. And that means that when they're with you, you spend time with them. Now, certainly work can intrude. And now in the age of smartphones and endless access through emails and texts, you're going to have to spend some time with them and also combine that with doing your job because that is the second most important thing in your life. And that is your career. And when you're with your kids, you focus on them. And when you're not with your kids, you focus on you and your job. But by all means, keep a steady focus on getting through your job and doing what is required to keep your job in a roof over your head. Too many folks get lost in the minutia. Their work suffers and they end up losing their job or even worse. So there are two constants in your life, your children and your work. Now, things to avoid. Well, absolutely avoid dating, absolutely avoid drinking or drug use or any other vice. Try to focus instead on things that are positive and good. A lot of folks turn to exercise. They may start running or lifting weights or hiking, healthy things. And it's also a good idea to try to stay away from negative people or people who are going through divorce as well. It may seem like it's helpful to listen to them and tell them your issues, but in all fairness, that just really helps very, very little in the short term only. You're going to have to get off by yourself and face your own demons. Listen to that inner voice and find your center, find your north on your own. And unfortunately, no one can help you do that. Some folks also turn to professional counseling. That's also very helpful to provide you with some structure and some framework and some defense mechanisms that you can use to deal with and get through the grief process. But in the end, it is up to you. Now, during the separation period, it is going to be tough. And you understand that and welcome that because through pain is how you heal. And the more pain you deal with directly and head on, then the faster the process can go. Now, as you've already figured out, nighttime is the worst. Holidays are almost unbearable. Mornings, even if it's a cloudy, rainy day, are the best parts. And a bright, sunny morning, well, things just feel better already temporarily. I promise you, though, that with time and with focus, it will get better and you will come through this and you will end up a stronger, better person, better able to understand what you're looking for and what you're trying to avoid. I hope this helps you. If you have additional questions, please call me. My name is Robert Reeves. My mobile number 704-351-7979 or email robert at rjrlaw.com. Thank you.